Victor Pufalescu believes he started having alien encounters as a teenager back in his native Romania. He's turned to hypnotherapy to try and find out exactly what happened. It's like being a good, so good soldier. You just um, obey orders. This is actually the, probably the best description of uh, hypnosis process. Loosen limb, deeper sleep. Loosen limb, heavier and heavier. Not a worry, not a care. Deeper, deeper and deeper. Hypnotherapy is a, a way of allowing us to get into the subconscious mind. The intellectual mind tends to want to control and criticise everything. It's, it's the sensor of stuff it doesn't even know about that was in there before we were three years old. So by sort of relaxing and sliding across the conscious mind, if you like, we can sort of delve into the unconscious or to allow what's in the unconscious to find its way out. Oh, I can't move, Frank. Uh-huh. The pressure is increasing. I can't move. The chest, my arms, uh -huh. my legs. There's a thing about hypnotherapy that very often the subject will want to please the hypnotist. They have to look at that, but um, the thing is that you can see that when a person is reliving an experience, that it's pretty it's easy right. to see whether that's faked yes, or safe. not. Moving forward in time. My legs. Moving forward my in feet. time. Moving forward in time through the experience. <sighs> The pain, well, the pain is inside of my elbow. Uh huh. Thanks. Who are you saying thanks to? Them. Uh huh. Can you ask them what they're doing? No. It's a test. That's a test. I just know it's a test. Keep, they keep me telling me to be calm. They're telling you to be calm? Yeah. Uh -huh. Very often the people are, are quite disturbed about dreams they're having or things they've imagined happened to them. And they often come out of this saying, I'm pleased I'm not crazy or I'm not mad or I'm not imagining this. It does give you some um, answers, but also um, creates thousands more. And this is probably the trickiest part. I'm never happy with um, the answer which I, I, I'm getting and I want more and more and more. Just relaxing as much as you can with every breath. Just feeling a sense of calm. From 1992, there was a very strong correlation with um, awakening psychically and with my healing work to having these experiences. Elizabeth Robinson is a spiritual healer and therapist who says she's been having extraterrestrial experiences since childhood, but is only now starting to accept them. I mean, when they started with me, I thought, my God, this is bizarre. You know, this is crazy. This is the, in the realm of science fiction. Um, but I know now I've had to work through that and struggle with it, and I've denied it like hell for five years. And I can't deny it anymore. Elizabeth says she started seeing creatures like these around her home in Perth in 1992. There were three beings standing there. They had large um, shaped heads, bigger at the top uh, to the chin at the bottom, large almond shaped eyes, small bodies, legs and arms, and, and sort of grey in appearance. But they looked at me with a sense of intent and intelligence. Soon after, Elizabeth's daughter talked of being visited by a lady during the night. Elizabeth believes it was one of the same beings. And I looked down on the, the desk and here was a drawing um, of this being, the same being that I had seen. And I said to Jessica, who did that? Because I, I knew that at two and a half, her drawings were scribble drawings. And she said, oh, that's the lady. I tried to rationalize it, but I knew that I wasn't um, imagining this stuff. You know, there was something in me that told me that there was more to these experiences. Mm. They're looking at me again. 
Elizabeth then turned to hypnotherapy to try and uncover what she couldn't understand. This session was recorded last year with visiting American UFI researcher John Carpenter. I don't want to give the baby up. What seems to have come up in hypnosis is that I've had um, children taken from me, babies taken from me, that are growing up um, on crafts. And this, this is just absolutely bizarre, you know, talking about this. I mean, it, it, you talk about this, but, you know, at first you struggle with it. I mean, you can't fully comprehend this, but what I could comprehend was the emotion around it. They tell me with their mind. The emotions are so real, they're raw, they're, you know, the grief is there, the, the terror is something like I've never felt before. They're just doing what they're doing. What are they doing? They're getting the equipment ready. Part of the reason why they're involved here on Earth is to help us awaken, but there seems to be some sort of reciprocal type of arrangement whereby, um, you know, they're, they're coming to Earth and they're um, creating a new uh, race of beings or creating some sort of hybrid race of beings. I used to think, OK, I'm dreaming, until I used to be able to get up, go to the bathroom, make a cup of tea, come back, sit down, and it'd still be waiting for me. Yeah. And I think, oh... Mm. Um, Elizabeth and colleague Mary Rodwell now run a support group in Perth for people who've had alien experiences. And this is what I, I mean, my business is, is emotional trauma. That's why I'm here. And I won't deal with fantasy. I can't deal with fantasy. So it's about emotional trauma. These pe people are um, stressed quite desperately with fear and anxiety about a lot of things that they only have a vague idea often about, but often is because they've remembered being taken. I went three months with barely any sleep, if you remember I told you, about 11 or 12 weeks, barely any sleep. Most of them just want to live an ordinary life. They don't want this to happen. So for them to have the chance to at least talk about it and release all the anxiety and fear around that as much as they can around talking about it, it seems that through that there is real healing. For me, I became very frightened that I would be labelled um, crazy or, you know, hallucinate, whatever it was, mm. and that I couldn't have somebody to relate this experience to that would honour my experience. Have either Elizabeth has always kept journals about her experiences, which she is now using to write a book. I saw a grey being appear, white grey colour. In the dream, I was searching for my son, even though the child dream of trying to run away from several grey beings, but as fast as I ran or wherever I was. I really don't expect someone to be able to say, absolutely, you know, this is real. Because, you know, you always doubt yourself, but, but you know that it's real. And uh, you have to come to some point and stop denying it. And that's what I'm starting to do.